So we be a good thrift. So today is gonna to be another edition of thrifting with me for you. We're stepping into one of my favorite thrift stores looking for pieces for an upcoming Galaxy Live sale. The last time we did one, it was so much fun. I am truly really excited to repeat that experience and hang out with y'all on November 28th at 10 a.m. Eastern, which is on a Sunday. It's gonna be like right after my regularly scheduled Sunday morning video. I pulled a lot of people on Instagram asking what types of items you want to meet to be on the lookout for and the answers included pretty much across the board vintage love to see that i'm going to be on the lookout for those pieces taking you into one of my favorite thrift stores for vintage gems and their fitting rooms are usually open so we can also try to pop in the fitting room and actually style up some of the pieces so let's get in and see what we can find for you guys today So they just kind of rearranged the store and that's very exciting because it makes me feel like it's a brand new store. <laughs> As I was walking around getting my bearings just a little bit, I already snatched up like three items and popped them in my cart. So it was gonna be a good thrift. I'm super distracted already, but look at this couch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the pattern. It's uh, $79.50. I'm over in the men's section and I've been kind of feeling like corduroy, especially like brown corduroy, like rich tone corduroy. It's kind of been on my fall list, so I kind of want to see if I think there's anything cute you guys might like. Can't decide if this is cute. It's definitely like a worn in vintage flannel. Very 90s. This is my favorite thing I've seen so far today. This is a jacket called Clubhouse, which is clearly like a members only knockoff. And I love it. <laughs> this guy is really cute. It's 15 bucks though. I do love finding 100% cotton men's sweaters like this, but I'm not sure about this color. It's very peachy. Okay, uh, I actually grabbed like quite a few things in this section. I think I wanna go over to like a mirror really quick and, and try on some of the jackets so I can like weed them out and show you kind of what I'm thinking with this like menswear inspired styling. a lot in the men's section my cart is already filling up but it's time to dig into the women's side and I want to start in the dresses this could be cute I like how it buttons up all the way here's some more corduroy which could be really cute for fall but I kind of wish this was a shorter silhouette I think that would be a nice little kind of pinafore layer over a turtleneck or something, but I think I'll leave that. Look at this cute little skirt suit from a local Roanoke maker. That's adorable. Very Chanel. Um, okay. Christian Dior skirt suit? What? Okay, the dresses were not completely popping off, but I put a handful of things in my cart, including 
Christian Dior. <laughs> okay, so let's get into like the meat of it. I know that a lot of people asked specifically for vintage tops of different kinds. So let's get into the women's tops. They have a ton here. I always find a lot of good ones. Let's just pile this cart sky high and then get into the fitting room. Is the first time I've seen their tags and I love that Dallas is a distinction for the discriminating customer <laughs> I just love this tag <laughs> oh there she is this is kind of like a faux corduroy mock neck top from Diane that could be really cute let's try it I just found this fuchsia silk bomber jacket. Tell me this is not my friend Jody Kenny here on YouTube. Tell me this is not a jacket for her. I just tagged her on Instagram. We'll see if she replies that she wants it. I bet you she will. <laughs> Took about three minutes, but we have a yes. <laughs> yeah, Jody, love you, girl. Deceased. This is 100% silk Diane von Furstenberg with gold embroidery. It is tagged as an extra small, so there's probably no way it'll fit me, but oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, so cool. Winning with the thrift store racks. <laughs> Doppelgangers, how do you know which one to shoot? My cart overflows with goodies. I'm doing really well. And I actually think I'm just ready to do like one more pass around on the way to the fitting room. And let's go check out everything that I'm finding and try some stuff on. Cart check. Yes. Okay, time to try this on. I have like a ton of really good stuff and I'm gonna try some of it on just to give you an idea of what kinds of things I'm finding and what it's gonna look like in my Galaxy Live sale. I wanna show you some of these little satin bombers first or this one actually is silk. There's a couple that are. And you know, I'm just kind of like a sucker for these. I think they're a really cute kind of like statement piece to make an outfit. You just throw them on with jeans or like trousers and they look really cute. This one, nice emerald green and it's got these little gold beads on it and it is silk. So yeah, I think that's a cute one. Here's a polyester one. It's in a little sky blue color. It's a little bit bigger fit, which is great. And it's got this cute like um, eyelet sort of like yoke detail. Oh, 
somehow, some magical way, this DVF blouse that's tagged in extra small actually fits me. And it's gorgeous. Look at the sleeve. Oh, I don't know if I can part with this one, you guys. <laughs> it's so good. Also, this little wild printed blazer. It's got like little lions and leopards on it. And it's kind of like that uh, tapestry type of material. I think that's pretty cute. Like you could just wear it over um, like a bright colored top underneath, like maybe like an emerald green or something and bring in some color or just keep it all neutral like this and do a fun pattern mix like I did. Okay, I love this combo actually. These are like a forest green corduroy. They've got some nice pleating and a high waist and this little cotton knit sweater with the collar. I think this is adorable. Um, it could be really cute to wear this actually with suspenders over it or something too. I'm kind of picturing like something to kind of break up all of the white on top and I don't know, like some fun accessories or just maybe even just a cute like brown hat. So I really want this for myself. So I think it's the perfect thing to pick up and put in my sale. And then if nobody buys them, then I get to keep them. <laughs> Deal? Deal. Okay, I've got this little vintage acrylic high neck sweater. I love the contrasting detail with the cuffs in the pocket. And then these are some Gitano mom jeans and they're marked as a size 20. Um, I think you could do 18 or 20 in these and they would look really nice. Maybe even size 16 could wear them um, with a belt, but depends on your measurements, obviously. I really like both of these. Something fun and vintage with like something that's also vintage but very trendy. Could be really cute. And I have a similar vintage sweater, <laughs> different brand, um, but it's got a little collar, the pocket, and a little contrast stitching. This one, the material is not as soft. I think it's still an acrylic blend, but uh, you definitely would have to layer it over something like a, a t-shirt or camisole in order to like be comfortable and not have it be too itchy once you get warm, so. I'll have to think about that. Here's a little vintage cardigan. I love the cute little gold buttons on it. I think this one would be adorable to actually like tuck under and wear it with like high-waisted jeans like this. But it does have these pockets down here, so I'm just a little iffy. I'm not sure if people are really like going nuts for cardigans right now. I know I have been like backing off on buying cardigans for myself, but it is a sweet little piece, so that's a maybe. And then their cute little vintage white knit. Uh, maybe. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> yes to this top. This is exactly the type of thing that you guys were asking for, so yay. I think this is so cute. It might be a little bit sweet, but I don't know. It's really soft and I think it's just adorable with jeans. It looks like it could be from like a modern French brand like Cezanne or something, don't you think? Another cute vintage knit. This one would accommodate like a two or three X too. So I think that's definitely gotta come home and get some good uh, range of sizing too. So, so cute. I love wearing men's sweaters that are 100% cotton. They're so comfy. Not sure about this yellow. It feels maybe out of season, but I do think it's cute. So this is a strong maybe. I polled you guys on Instagram about this set. Um, it has this cool psychedelic and I like the colors, but I think I decided that the sequins maybe don't look quite right with it. Like I wish it didn't have the sequins and then it'd be a fun kind of Y2K piece. So eh, it's a maybe, I'll probably leave it. Sorry if you wanted it. <laughs> this is probably a yes. Look at the cute coloring in this sweater. Yes. Deadstock 
sweater vest? Absolutely yes. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. It's so cute. This is exactly like the style and cut that's very on trend. Love a vintage piece that also looks like it could be a modern trendy piece. Like Maybe I'm crazy, but I'm a little on the fence about this one. We've got like the granny square crochet situation happening that I think is really cute, but maybe it's like the color scheme that I'm not personally into. Oof, I don't know. Might, that's a maybe, I don't know. A little vintage Kelly Green sweater. It's cozy, but is it too basic? Are we going for more like wild and funky? It's a great color. Maybe. Little vintage dead stock blue tee. It's got this like little white piping on it that gives it a little bit like late 70s, early 80s vibe. I think it's cute. The cobalt blue is really nice too. You know, I'm obsessed. And then also I forgot to show you, I have these like brown cords on. And I think these are pretty good. I'm a little hesitant to pick them up for sale just because they're gonna be really specific sizing and nobody asked for it, so. <laughs> but imagine like if you cropped these a little bit and um, they have that like straight leg that looks really cute with ankle boots. You can see that like again, a little bit of 70s vibe. Yeah. If you remember Cassie from my last thrifting for you, she found a good home and this could be like Cassie's sister, maybe. I don't know, I think that's kind of cute, but I'm, I'm not 100% if I wanna pick it up. I've just found so many good things. I'm being really picky now, but I do think that's pretty cute. And it fits me, so it could be like a, a one or two X size. Check out the collar and the detail on this one. It's so cute, but it's it's tiny and it's a little bit dingy, I think. So I'm gonna leave it. I just, I think someone else will find it and it'll be like perfect for them. And I'm a little bit torn on this one as well. I think it's kind of pretty, but it's got kind of a strange closure. Like it's not a typical button up. I just feel like I can find better button ups for you all. So I'm gonna leave. Ms. Stuart Lang hair. I think this one is really cute and it's a good plus size, which is way harder to find in this type of blouse. It is a little bit sheer, so I'm worried about that being a deterrent, but you could easily style this and layer it up so cute. So I think I wanna snag this one. What a good find. Here's that Diane von Furstenberg top. Um, I think it's it's a great basic, but I don't know if I'm going basic today, so I'm a little on the fence still, even though it's DDF and I was like very excited to find it. So, strong maybe. <laughs> I have a lot of maybes right now, but I just found so many good things. I am down to the dresses, and some of these I won't be able to try on, but I wanted to show you. Here is a velvet one. I thought it was so cute. It's got this cool little cross top and it's called Dressy Betsy, which is so cute. This one also super cute, too small for me to try on. It's more like a size eight, I think. Little 90s dress, another small vintage dress. This is Liz Claiborne, dead stock. So cute, you know I'm a sucker for the daisy print. Maybe one of the top finds of the day, <laughs> this vintage sweater dress. Look at the checker print. It's in like such good condition too. It's so cute. This is for sure gonna be available for sale. I am so excited for this to find a great home. Yay! Look how stinking cute this dress. It's like a little mini dress. It's got a little gingham print. It would look amazing on someone like a size or two smaller than me or a smaller bust, I think. So yes. Yes, yes, to the dress. <laughs> okay, this plus size dress I wanted to try for you. I'm not sure about it. I think it's just such a specific aesthetic and the purple bold flower pattern is like, it's, 
you know, it could be a lot. I think it could be so cute. Again, I'm the person who like gets this aesthetic, wear it with some like loafers and a little straw hat or something. Um, but I do love it as a vintage plus size item, so it makes it a strong possibility. So we'll see. Well, this is the cutest effing thing ever. <gasps> Look at this little vintage dress. And it has a matching belt that actually fits me. That never happens. Lovely, lovely color. It's tagged as a size 18 and it's actually, even for vintage, it's kind of true to size, I would say. It has a stretchy waist and then again, it's actually got a decent sized belt. Oh, this, I think is such a good find. Like somebody is gonna be so thrilled to have this piece. It's really cute. Dad, I found so many good things. I mean, this store never fails to deliver, but I am so excited about the great variety of items that I'm bringing to you. The only thing I'll say is you notice I didn't find like graphic tees or vintage tees and that came up, but not to worry. I'm gonna raid my personal collection, see what I can part with and what I can include in the sale. So stay tuned to the end of the video for the haul, more information about the actual Galaxy sale. And then I will see you guys on November 28th and we'll hang out and sell vintage and have a great time. So stay tuned for more information and the haul next. For this Galaxy Live Sale, all you have to do is go right now to the link in my description box to RSVP. Galaxy will text you a reminder when the sale goes live November 28th at 10 a.m. Eastern. It's pretty much right after my regular Sunday video. So go RSVP now and that's all you have to do. You won't have to think about it later. And by the way, Galaxy will not share or sell your information or text you for any other reason other than this event reminder. So even if you think there's just a chance that you might be able to come, go ahead and click the link to RSVP now. Once the show goes live, all of these items are gonna be available for purchase immediately. All you have to do is fill your cart with items that you love and then check out like any normal online transaction. But because it's a live show, I'll also be available to answer any questions you might have and show you the items in more detail. And we can also chat and hang out. Last time we were talking about thrifting and vintage, YouTube and a little bit of Q&A and it was a ton of fun. Whenever I talk to resellers, the number one gripe we have is that we are sitting on so much golden inventory because it is really really time consuming to create detailed listings on a lot of other selling platforms. Selling through Galaxy has saved me a ton of processing time. I just snap a quick photo of the items and then I share more details during the live sale, which is a lot more enjoyable anyway. But because my inventory is all preloaded into the live show, people can go through and shop really quickly without having to wait for me to show the items before they can purchase it. A lot of those live streaming apps where people sell, you have to wait until you see the item you want and try to claim it and then there's the tracking down people and invoicing and figuring out shipping afterward time. Galaxy takes care of all of that so it saves you a ton of time and not only time it saves you money too. Galaxy charges no fees for selling on their platform. And the last thing I'll say is the Galaxy live sales allow you to actually connect with your audience and your customer base so you can really learn what people are interested in and what they're looking for and better curate your shop in the future. It's really just a win-win overall. It's a better experience for customers and for sellers. If you are interested in reselling with Galaxy, you can feel free to reach out to me with any questions and I'll try to help you out. I really am just such a big fan of the work that they're doing and how they are really focused on sustainability and supporting small businesses where people make their living through reselling. So now let's get to the goods. I wanna show you the thrift haul, everything I got today and everything that will be available in this Galaxy Live Sale. Let's start with the jackets. These two little zip up bombers. This one is silk. These two corduroy jackets. This is like a blazer in a dark burgundy. This one is more of like a shacket. Like you could wear it buttoned up as a shirt or as an over shacket, which would look really cool. Got a couple of polka dot blouses. This little black and white tiny dot and a pink one with like a little bit bigger white dots. You can style a blouse like this in so many ways. I had to grab this embroidered blouse because it's a vintage plus size blouse. It's just gorgeous. And again, makes a really good layering piece, I think. This little blue dead stock tee. This knit top with a collar. A couple of vintage knit vests. sweater with the neon checkers. 
vintage sweater, pink plus size sweater, this sweet vintage sweater, this vintage cotton sweater with a collar. Yep. I've got those vintage Gitano mom jeans and those thick green corduroy pants. The checkered sweater dress. These two cute dresses. And this vintage lavender dress. That's my thrift haul from this trip and everything will be available for sale and more. I know many people asked for vintage t-shirts and graphic tees, so I do plan to raid my own personal collection and see what I can add to this Galaxy Live show. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you are anticipating the continuation of our Washington State thrifting series, that is coming up in the next video and I'll have new episodes every Sunday and Thursday. Thank you for thrifting with me. Thank you to our friends at Galaxy. I will see you guys again soon for a new video and on November 28th for that live sale. Don't forget to RSVP.